What the fuck is up, you Irish cunt? Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better, but happy Monday. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds. The biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Conor. You're ducking me because you don't want to lose to a fucking YouTuber. You're 0-1 as a boxer. I'm 2-0 as a boxer. I just came off the 8th biggest pay-per-view event in history. But you want to fight Dustin Prober, who has less followers on Instagram than my fucking dog. That's a fact. And Dana White, you're a fucking pussy too, you ugly fucking bald bitch. You said there's 0% chance of this fight happening, but there's 0% chance of you getting some fucking pussy. Connor, you're scared. Dana, you're scared. Sign the fucking contract, you idiots. Jesus fucking Christ. Irish bitch. Fuck you guys. What they were saying, and they, they was sticking their necks out for me, you know? They, these aren't fans. These aren't fans. This is fighters, bro. This is this is actual other fighters. It's it's Jorge, it's Nate, it's Dustin, uh Justin, um, the list, the list goes on. Even, even Ali and um, and the Kawais, the, the, all these guys, you know, like it's crazy. All these guys cannot agree on what color the sky is. Yeah. But they agreed on one thing that night. You know what I mean? Uh, we got, we got, uh, we got um, George St. Pierre for us. George St. Pierre's coach saying it. Big John, you know, uh, everybody know. Oh, Big John's a referee. He's not only a referee. This dude, he made the rules. He yeah. has classes for judges. Yeah, like, this, this is the man. You know what yeah. I mean? He has he has classes for these judges to take to make the rules. And he 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 thought I won the fight. And it, it was incredible. I mean, you know, completely controlled the fight throughout. The only thing he got caught with was that elbow when Tony was hopping back on one leg and got cracks yeah. and, and opened up an old scar that he's got from the previous fight. Um, it was it was absolutely sensational from Charles Oliveira. You could literally throw him in there against anybody else in this division right now, and I would be from a red to watch it. I, I just you know when you see someone that's got such a strong submission game, that and and this is where we saw the, the you know the, the ends of, of Tony Ferguson's game. And I, you know I got I got some heat on socials for maybe you know being a bit harsh on Tony, but the reality is like Tony's got an excellent attacking game, but once he's put under pressure. You see where those basics start to fall apart. I mean, he was mounted in the first round and didn't do any mount escapes. No basic elbow and the escapes, no nothing. And that's the difference between what Tony brought to the octagon and what Charles Oliveira's got. Like, he's got a strong, concrete foundation of good Brazilian jiu-jitsu that he's just not built this empire upon and that he's building that empire in the lightweight division now. And, and what we're seeing from a, you know, the guy that owns the record for submissions, now we're seeing really lethal striking as well. You know, I, I just, I think that honestly, the, the sky's the limit for Charles Oliveira and it was unfortunate for Tony that he had to come back from the Gaethje fight to face someone that equally, if not more talented than just in Gaethje. And yes, I did just say that. Well, I'd say it was uh, something that happened, uh, you know, within a very short amount of time. We got a call and said that uh, he would be free and are available if we wanted to uh, talk about having him on the roster and i just, and i just talked to my guys real quick and and we uh said we're very interested because we have such a great light heavyweight division we thought he'd be a great addition be a lot of great fights in there for him and and we signed him and but this all happened within the last 48 hours you know i'll tell you is there a lot of upside for him um and you know is there a lot of great fights for him here uh, what is his fighting style? Is he uh, explosive and is he entertaining? Is he uh, a lay and pray guy or is he, you know, like what, 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 what are we getting in? What are we paying for? And uh, he just checked all the boxes. And I'll tell you, we're, we're excited. My staff is excited. The network is excited. Give you a lot of great fights for him here at Bellator. Mm -hmm.